Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Balboa. In this video, I'll be telling you guys the best clients and weapons for every single race inside of Type. So I'm making this video because I made the best build one yesterday. And I realized I didn't really talk about weapons or clients. And a lot of people were asking me inside the comments. So I decided to make it inside a whole separate video. Um, because there was just way too many comments asking me, you know, what the best one is. So if you guys end up enjoying the video, like and subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 15,000 subscribers. We can get that greatly appreciate it. And make sure that you guys go watch the best build one and the best race one as well. Both of those are inside my channel. If you guys want to know what race you guys want to know and what build you want to know for that race, to pair up with these clients and weapons. But starting it off, we have Quincy. Now, Quincy is going to be the first one that I talked about. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is going to be these clients right here. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but on your screen is all of them. And honestly, they look like pretty busted compared to everything else. Um... Compared to all the other races, planes, I think Quincy, like, by far has the best ones. Um, but the first one, do 15 HP, 10% or 10 posture in passive posture regen. I mean, it's all right, but it's not what I would personally recommend to know. Then we have Valkyrie, which is more uh, mode duration. 15 HP, 15 posture, it's all right. B is 10% uh, ray regen and 10% H or 10 HP. Pretty good. And then the next one is 20 HP, 2.5 Ray on hit, also really good. And then Lavar is 25 HP, 20 Ray, and 15 posture. So in my opinion, I would say the best one is probably the 2.5 Ray on hit. The 10% Ray regen one can be good if you pair it with Dramery's Cloak, because then you're getting 20% Ray regen. But honestly, I am going to say the best one is probably going to be Lavar. It has the highest base stats uh, out of all of them. And base stats is honestly what you're going to want. I don't know if it's just me, but I almost never see myself running out of Rayatsu in ranked matches. Um, inside normal match, sure, like getting um, a B or something would have been really nice. But I think Lafar is going to be a majority for you ranked players and other things like that. That is what you're going to want to run. Now, if you are a Hotteda player, the best weapon for you is obviously going to be the new glove because that thing is brain dead. Whenever you crit, it applies a chain to someone. You can pull it back and continue your combo extend with Hotteda. If you are not Hotteda, um, it looks like the Shane's weapon. I'll put this photo on the screen right now, but that is the one that you guys are going to want. Um, that crit for that one is also pretty brain dead. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they nerf it because the range for it is like actually ginormous. Um, but yeah, those are going to be the two best weapons. I don't know what it's actually called, but the one that looks like the Shane's type weapon. Um, once again, I'll put the photo on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, that or if you're Hakuna, you uh, obviously run the glove. Um, the pistol can be nice, but I do think that uh, the Shanks type weapon is going to be better for the majority of you guys as players. Uh, because the pistol is very easy to parry and all that. So the one that I'm going to personally recommend is once again going to be the Shanks type weapon. Um, then we have a Ron card, which I can actually just show you guys in game because I'm on my Ron card slot. So here are all the clans. Now, in my opinion, I think Stark is obviously going to be the best one because it has 15 HP, 15 posture, 1.5 Riyasu steal on hit. Um, the difference from this one and the other one was the other one you um, just gained. You didn't steal it from your opponent. This one you actually steal Rayatu from your opponent and it goes to you, which is really good. Then we have the next one, 10 HP, 20 Rayatu, 15 posture. It's decent if you really need Rayatu. Next one, 15 HP, 15 Rayatu, 5 posture. Kind of the same thing. Um, Yeager, uh, 15 HP, 10 posture, passive posture, regen. It's all right. And then Cypher, 15 HP, 20 uh, Rayatu, 15 increase. Mode duration, by far the best one is Stark. It's like the only viable one that I really even recommend. Now for weapons, obviously if you're Hakuda, then you run the Hakuda weapon. Um, it's not like the craziest weapon, but if you are Hakuda, then you run that weapon. For normal weapons, I recommend the Legendary, because obviously this thing is low-key kind of brain dead. Or you guys can also run the Barigon Axe, which is very, very good. Barigon Axe is crazy right now. Um, it does a lot of damage. You guys have to be very, very close for it to actually hit, though. And then we have Harabelle's Dagger, another really, really good one. Um, and then the last one that I want to talk about is going to be Wonderwise. Wonderwise got a really surprising buff, and it actually is pretty strong now. But the two that I'm going to recommend is definitely going to be Bardon's Axe, and this one probably the most, Blood Edge. I would say Blood Edge and Bardon's Axe are probably going to be the best one. Uka Warrior Sword just fell off pretty hard. I know inside my Iron Card tier list, I put it really high up. Um, but after testing them all out, it's just not good anymore until they add it where it guard breaks again. Um... Airbell's dagger, really dead. All those, really dead. Then we have Soul Reapers. Um, Soul Reapers are really good um, for their thing. So they have Hiosube. Hiosube is by far the best one. You get 25 HP and 1.5 Rayatsu still. It's 
basically just a better version of Stark. I'm not gonna lie, it's 25 HP, it's lucky kind of brain dead. The second best one, in my opinion, is gonna be Shutara. It gives really high base stats with 20 HP, 15 Ryatsu, and 10 posture. And then we have Zakari, which gives 1.5 posture regen, 10 posture, 15 HP. Um, and then we have Karzaki, 20 Ryatsu, 5 posture, and more bond time meter. Um, Yamamoto, 20 HP, 20 Ryatsu. And then the last one is going to be 1.5 posture regen and 5% Ryatsu regen. That one is low key kind of fun. If you did that one instantly, reroll. Um, and then for weapons for Soul Reaper, weapons that I'm going to personally recommend that you guys use for Soul Reaper, the number one weapon that I recommend is going to be the new Longsword. That thing is low key kind of brain dead. I'm not gonna lie. The new weapon or the new uh, crit for Longsword for Soul Reapers is low key, like really, really good. Uh, it's definitely probably the one that I recommend. But you guys can also use Katana. You guys can use Dagger. Like, there's a lot of weapons that you guys can actually use. It's really just all personal preference as a Soul Reaper. The two that I'm going to recommend the most is definitely going to be Katana and Longsword. But you guys can also run Dagger, as I said. That's definitely a very good uh, third option. So, yeah. Once again, for Quincy, you guys are going to want to run either the new Glove, if you're a Hakuda. Because that thing is brain dead. Or you just run the Shinx looking weapon because that thing is also kind of brain dead. Or if you guys did the block and you actually really like the block, then go ahead and use the block. And then the best race for that, I think I said, was Lavar or Lavar, whatever it is, just because it has very high base stats and all the other ones kind of stink. I'm not gonna lie. Then for a wrong card, I recommend you guys run Blood Edge or Barge on Axe, or you guys can run Hair Bell's Dagger. Those are like the three that I personally recommend. There is more options though. I would say almost every single weapon for a wrong card is usable. And then for your uh, clan, I would kind of just recommend Stark. It's kind of like the versatile one that basically every single person uses that is high rank right now. And then for Soul Reaper, once again, Longsword, Katana, both of those amazing crits, kind of bring that, I'm not going to lie, especially if you pair it with something like Theater. They are very, very good. And then for your best uh, clan for that one, it's going to be Hiyosube. But that is it uh, for this video. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And feel free to leave any thoughts inside the comments. If you guys agreed, disagreed with any of these selections, like I said, I don't really play Quincy, so Quincy one could be completely wrong, but I do believe my Iran card one and Soul Reaper one is pretty close to the actual best ones. Um, and leave any video ideas inside the comments down below. Um, I will probably have a few more videos out today, maybe one or two. Um, it depends because there is going to be an update later today, so I'll probably like maybe only post one more until the update. It kind of just depends. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave your own thoughts inside the comments down below. And also watch the um, befores to this video um, because at this point I just made a whole series about the best race. Um, I posted that one I think four days ago and then I posted yesterday the best uh, builds for each race. And now this one is going to be the best weapons or clans for each race. So if you guys end up enjoying it, once again, leave your own thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace.